Another functionality of the app framework is the single sign-on capability. It allows your application to connect to the app framework without having to log in explicitly. No extra development is required. The only prerequisite is that your application should run within the SAP Business One client. Doesn't matter if it's in the browser widget or in a customized UI API web form. For last, we will talk about the SAP Business One mashup capability. This one allows your application to perform UI interactions to the B1 client. Those interactions are one way only. That means the application can interact with the SAP Business One client, but the other way around is not possible. Here are some examples of the interactions supported and the JavaScript library required for them to work. But let's take a look at one code example. So in this example, we created a very simple HTML page that will leverage the WebBridge JavaScript library. This is the one responsible for making the mashup feature within SAP Business One. Some of the examples of functions that we can call from this library are the ones to show success, error, and warning messages, and also the possibility to open Business One forms pointed by a specific business object, so orders, invoices, and business partners, and pointing into one specific key that we are getting from one input text that is right here. So this is the sample page that it will look like. Of course, this won't work in the web browser directly. We should open this inside Business One. That's why we prepared also one small add-on with three entry menus that we're going to create UI API forms of type web browser. Let's take a look at the mashup example, for example. Here we got the same page, but this time open inside Business One. You can see that I didn't have to log in into the page itself because the single sign-on capability already logs into the HAN XS engine and on the app framework. But I can perform here calls to show success, error, and warning messages. And you can see all of them in the bottom of Business One. I will just zoom in a little bit and click again, success, error, and messages of warning. Same thing to open one specific form. So if I want to open the sales order number 10, I can just click right there and it's getting the filter. And you can see here, I have the sales order form pointed on the record number 10. Same thing for invoices and for business partners. Of course, I need to change the key for a valid card code. And here we have. So this is how the mashup functionality works. Another case that we can use this functionality for is, for example, reporting. So we have here another, another demo application that shows a list of business partners. And by each link of each card code that is presented in here, we are doing a mashup with the business partner form. So this is another use as well. The last one I'm going to show here another example of single sign-on. So here I have the same app that we did before. And once again, I haven't, I didn't have the need to log in into the access engine nor on the app framework. And I can execute, for example, user-defined queries directly from here without having to pass by the login page. So that concludes our Extreme App Framework unit. Thank you for your time and see you on the next unit.